What's going on, YouTube family? It's a beautiful day in the A. And you're locked in to B2 Speaks. Go ahead, before we jump into it, hit that like button. If you don't want to hit it, just tickle it a little bit and it'll still do the same thing. It'll still get the job done. Subscribe, like this video, comment if you want, and thank you for all the support. But let's get into it. Every video now on YouTube with some type of YouTuber who's a trucker is telling new truck drivers fresh out of CDL school, freshly licensed, no experience, zero experience. And they're telling them to go and get these local driving jobs. Before I get cursed out in the comments, before everybody jump in here and tell me to shut up, I don't know what I'm talking about. This guy is a fool. Hold on. In no way, shape, form, or fashion am I saying that these are bad jobs. In no way, shape, form, or fashion am I saying to not get these type of jobs. What I am saying is you should wait until you have some experience. Why do you need to wait until you have experience? If you've driven for any amount of time, meaning if you've driven for probably around a year to six years or more, you know that you always find yourself in some difficult situations, whether that be backing, some turns, maneuvers that you may have to make, and you definitely want to make sure that you can handle those stressful situations when you end up in them. However, when you are a brand new truck driver, when you get these local type jobs, the ones you see that I listed in the thumbnail, the LTL jobs, the food delivery jobs, the beverage delivery jobs, these are some great jobs. They are some of the highest paying trucking jobs in the industry, but it's not for the faint of heart not because of the physical work that is involved with those jobs, but it is the superior driving skills that you need to have those jobs. The last thing you want to do as a newly licensed commercial vehicle driver is to end up in a lot of these different situations that you don't have any experience in, you haven't been exposed to them, you don't know how to react in these, particular situations and you end up having an accident, you end up having a wreck, you end up hurting yourself or somebody else and your license is tarnished and you're no use to any company out there. My advice has always been don't stay over the road for your whole life. I would never tell truckers to do that. I encourage you guys always always go local always look for the jobs that can get you home the most the jobs that allows you to spend time with your family the most because at the end of the day that's the most important thing above trucking and you don't want to end up losing everything outside of trucking and then you don't have anything else left but trucking and that's a recipe for disaster always should be looking to go local in some way shape form or fashion but as a new driver i recommend go over the road or regional for at least at least eight to twelve months it's in those eight to twelve months you are going to be exposed to a lot of different areas of the country you're going to be exposed to a lot of different type of backing maneuvers, a lot of different types of turns that you're gonna have to make, a lot of different type of traffic patterns, uh, traffic uh, volume. You're gonna be involved in all of that and it only builds up your experience level. It builds up the repetition that you have so that when you are faced in these situations in a local route, because a lot of these local runs you're not backing into a dock. You are basically having to maneuver into very, very, very tight areas with limited space and no docks. And you have to be great at backing and turning 
to be successful and not to end up ruining your license. It's all about getting the experience. It's all about making sure that you're going to be successful. It's not about telling you that you don't need to go local. You need to stay over the road. You don't ever need to come home. That's not what I'm saying. I'm simply saying driving over the road gives you exposure to a lot of different scenarios that you're going to face as a local driver that having seen it being over the road, you would know how to handle it better as a local driver because as a local driver, they will hire you nowadays without experience. But the support that they give you and the training that they give you at some of these local trucking jobs is not the same type of support that you get from an over the road type company. They expect you to be productive. They expect you to be safe. And if you don't have experience doing that, yes, they will hire you zero experience. But whenever you fail in those areas, they will fire you. I'm not anti-local. I've been driving local now for like five years. I would never tell people not to go local. Always try to go local. But my new drivers out there, you're fresh out of CDL school. You just got that crispy uh, CDL license. Don't get in such a rush. I know you probably have a family at home. I know you probably have obligations at home, but I'm just begging you, take a little bit of time. We can do anything for eight months. That's my belief. <laughs> you can do anything for eight months. Take that eight months to a year, sacrifice, go out there over the road, learn the job, learn how that truck operates in and out so that when you prepare to come over to the local side where there's a lot more pressure, there's a lot more traffic, there's a lot more going against you as a driver, you are better prepared to handle those situations mentally and you don't get flustered because you've seen it before and you're better equipped to handle it without freaking out. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me or not. Some of you probably are not going to agree with me and that's fine. Let's just have a conversation, but let's keep it respectful because this is my opinion and I am a professional at my opinion on my YouTube channel. So thank you again for watching. Again, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, tickle that like button for me or hit it hard if you want. Both of them work the same. I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. And remember, don't be offended. That's just how B2 speaks. I'll see you on the next one.